I wanted to start out by saying I'm sorry for the lack of videos over the last few months. I've been caught up with a lot of things and haven't had time to make videos. I'm finally getting caught back up with things and I'm starting to make videos again. I don't currently plan to have a set upload schedule, but I will try to get videos out whenever I can. But around five or six months ago I set up some bioactive roach bins, and I feel like it's time for an update on them. I've had a few questions on how I maintain the bins. One of those questions being about water and humidity. When the bins start drying out some, what I do is take a spray bottle and I spray it down and mist it with some water. I do this on an as needed basis. When I feel like the soil is getting too dry, I'll spray it down. Another question I had is what do I feed the roaches? I make my own dry food. It's a mix of non-medicated chick starter, rabbit pellets, and rolled oats. Some people add more ingredients than I do, and some only use chick starter or rabbit pellets. It's really up to you to find out what your roaches like and decide what's best for you. I also feed the roaches fresh fruit and vegetables. I give them slices of apple, banana, oranges, along with carrot, squash, and pumpkin, and whatever vegetable scraps I have laying around I'll toss to the roaches. Let's start with the Dubia Roach Colony. I did have a huge setback with this colony. I probably should have started with more males than what I did, and I realized that when it was too late. Unfortunately, one by one, my male roaches died off. So for a couple of months, none of the females were producing babies. Due to the holidays and the weather, I wasn't able to get more dubias in until a few weeks ago. But other than the setback, the roaches have been doing fine. So far, the only drawback for these kind of setups is it is hard to collect large amounts of roaches all at once. It's not a practical idea if you're needing to harvest large amounts of babies or certain sizes all at once. But my collection's small, so I'm only picking off a few roaches here, here and there as needed. Somebody pointed this out on the last video, and I wanted to correct it. I said the male dubias have wings and the females don't. That was incorrect. The females do have wings. They're just not as elongated as the male's wings are. Next, we have the Halloween hissing cockroaches. They've continued to produce babies and have been doing well in this kind of setup. Up next we have the Madagascar hissing cockroaches. The colony looks a lot different from the last video. Somebody local to me had an entire colony for sale and I ended up buying it. He told me it was probably around 300 roaches in the colony. After I got it, it turned out to be well over a thousand, ranging from small nymphs to full grown adults. I ended up splitting the colony in half and setting them up into two large containers. This will give the roaches some more room and give them the chance to produce more.
So far the roaches seem to be doing good in their bioactive setups. The only downside is how hard it is to find some of them in this kind of setup. I'll continue to post updates as time goes on and the colonies grow, and I'll share any observations I make while doing this. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you like and subscribe to keep up with what we're doing.